six. Thirteen. Twenty. Twenty one. Twenty-eight. Twenty-nine. Thirty-six. Forty five. Fifty two. Fifty three. Sixty one. Seventy. 
Eighty-nine. Ninety. Ninety-seven. Ninety-eight. One hundred and thirteen. One hundred and fifteen. One hundred and eighteen. One hundred and twenty two. One hundred twenty seven. One hundred and thirty three. One. Okay, kick aside, that fifth frame was just, I felt, always felt so massive for Steve Maguire Eight. in this match. Keep the hammer down. No. I think if you give Steve Maguire five four ahead, Johnny, bite your hand off. Yeah, but uh, when, as we saw, right, he say he, it looked as for all the world, it could have been five nil. He'd have been looking for something better than that, but the ball dropped him with that Seven. kick. But this, of course, as well, is the beauty of the World Championship and the number of frames that are played, you know. 24. It gives a chance for a bit of luck to even out here or there and players to settle into the game and produce the best snooker, and that's why the best snooker is usually... 25. ...produced here at the Crucible Theatre. That's the fourth red and black. I think with that positional shot, that's the end of... 32. Any thoughts of 147s? Yeah, this 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 tournament's tournament's all about momentum. 33. These long matches, how long can you keep it to yourself? You 
can win these two session matches, multi session matches in the, the first session. 35. Well, he just had a look, but uh, this is Red's unmissable, and he should be able to hold for a ball colour quite comfortably. 36. And the reason he he also wanted to get rid of that red, I think it was stopping the blue from going into that middle pocket. So you'd have to say this is an excellent chance. 40. Well, at the mid-session interval. 4-0 behind. Seems a, a distant memory now. Forty six. Forty seven. Fifty-five. Good pot that on the red. Hampered as he was. And as Stephen remarked in the last frame, he now just signs he's got 60. that cue ball under control. Yeah, the 61. whole body language around the table is different. It looks far more positive, far more aggressive, which is what you expect from Ronnie Sullivan. Sixty-six. Sixty-seven. Just overscrewed at a touch. He just wants to get an half ball camera on the left hand one of the two reds and couldn't have played it any better than that. Seventy century in the last frame. Seventy-five. This frame well and truly over. We're gonna see back to back centuries. Wouldn't bet against it. Ninety one. Ninety six. Ninety seven. Sullivan's 946th career century. Unbelievable.
And in the end, he found the gap One. there. Five. Six. Well, the blue may go up into the corner. That will be a bonus, but maybe it doesn't. He's awkward on the brown. He's having to bridge over the red. The blue obviously doesn't pot. A little bit awkward, this. He's not really had the cue ball Ten. in any part of this break yet. He's been slightly off. Gonna use the rest. This wasn't in the plan. This red. Still at 16 seconds 18. of his average shot time, but funnily enough, with the balls all over the table, you'd think he'd play a lot quicker. But sometimes you have to think more than when you're around the black spot area. 19. Yeah, yeah, you're so used to the natural positions, aren't you? You're practicing all the hours you play that you know what's happening up the top end of the table between pink and black. And when they're spread around like this, it just needs a little bit more concentration. 26. I'm talking 27. about records, John. I can, can't remember a player playing four frames and not potting a ball in the Masters. That's a possibility at the moment. Thirty-two. May have landed on the other red. Yeah, he's got this one instead. Didn't play on that one, but came on it so 30. well that he decided to take it. Three points 38. so far. Mark has got five. Of 39. Which he didn't score himself. Tough school, to say the least. If there was any consolation for Mark Ofu, it would be he's going to the mid session interval and it's the best of 11. So you have a chat with his coach. Uh, Terry Griffith's son Wayne, who's over from Hong Kong with Marco. You probably head to the 45. practice table because he hasn't had any chance whatsoever. Fifty-two. Fifty-three. Fifty nine. Sixty. He's just in, he's in the zone, totally focused. Sixty five. Sixty six. 
2,000 people in the auditorium on here. And it's just at one of the snooker table. And it was a big red for Marco to take on in the middle pocket. Seven. He knew it was fraught with danger. 71. Uh, this was a massive shot to take on from that minute. He's missed it. He's just had to sit and watch this. Seventy-seven. Seventy-eight. Just the tricky red left side of the table 85. that might prevent him from making his third century in four frames. But he can bring 86. it into play here, looking at that angle on the pink. He can develop that red. Ninety-two. Honestly, he's just absolutely 93. in the zone completely. Ninety-eight. It's not possible to it really isn't. There's another century. What a treat you are getting this afternoon from the genius. 103. Well, he's up to 99% pot success rate. Incredible. 107. And that also might be a record to make three centuries in four frames in your opening match in the Masters. Tried to use the, the jaw of the pocket to get up onto the pink there. Doesn't really matter if he doesn't knock this in but the mood he's in tell the way he executed the shot you know no commitment to the shot he was sort of in between one in between shots i think doesn't want to be straight on this right because if he is he won't be able to get anywhere might have a little angle just to force out for the black. Yeah, he's okay. Four. Nice control cannon there to leave himself on the red by the black spot. This will now open, open the game up. 12. Well, this is looking good already for O'Sullivan. Lovely shot again into the Reds. 19. He's made 916 centuries now in his career, so the 1,000 is going to happen for sure. Made 20. 42 this season. That's only eight fewer than the 50 he made the whole of last season. It just shows how well he's been playing in this golden spell last couple of months. It's brought him uh, three titles from four finals. In fact, five if you count the Hong Kong Masters 27. as well. Where he lost to Neil Robertson. Twenty-eight. Yeah, his break building is incredible. He sees so many shots that other guys don't. Just simple shots to open up, open up pathways. 34. 35. Well, you feel the worst now for Michael George. You won that uh, scrappy previous frame, but I think he'll be expecting O'Sullivan to win it here. Forty-two. First two frames, really, if he looks back on the match, he might think about because he had chances there. He was in front in both of them. Forty-three. Which couldn't quite kill them off. Yeah, from Michael's point of view, there's not there's not too much to worry about. You know, he's he's on track. He hits the ball nice. He hits the ball straight. He 
he just needs more time out on the match table and in this kind of environment, you know, and it's that's hard to come by when you when you're up against these guys. Fifty one. But if he keeps working hard, keeps doing the right things, he'll put himself in position and break the back of the game then and then he'll his confidence will be a lot stronger for that. Fifty seven. Well, as Sullivan gets closer to winning the match, have you enjoyed your commentary debut, Ricky? Yeah, it's been good. It's been different, you know. I've, I'm not going to lie, but I've felt a little nervous doing it. But it's good to see the game from a different, different side, 64. you know. And yeah, enjoyed it. Good. You can come back anytime. Sixty-five. I think we've seen a lot more Ronnie O'Sullivan this week on this evidence. This is match ball. And in the end, he's uh, just killed it off in the blink of an eye. 72. Yeah, no drama from Ronnie there. He's just... He's waited for his chance, stepped in and been clinical. Like every time he has been of late. 80. The key thing is he's just enjoying his snooker 79. right now. We know he's had a rather tortured relationship 80. at times with the game. Had that year when he didn't play at all until the World Championship, apart from one PTC. But right now, clearly wants to be here. He's enjoying it. He's certainly enjoying 86. winning all these tournaments. Three ranking titles already this season. A lot of prize money as well. 87. Absolutely nothing wrong with his game. And as Neil Fold said right at the start, someone's got to beat him. Who's it going to be? Yeah, he definitely looks balanced. He looks looks happy with, with his game. 93. Happy with everything, really, and there's a lot to be said for that play in this game. You know, it's a, it's a real tough sport and can scramble your mind at times. But when you're clear, there's, there's no better game to play. Thank you. So, ever the showman, it looks like he's going to finish with a century. There it is. Another one for the collection. 43rd of the season. Hundred and two. Yeah, great break. Just kept it very simple all the way through. Absolute master. Nine. It's a golden spell in a golden career. 111. And once again this afternoon, as he was in York, he's been completely focused. 114. He'll be really pleased just to get his first game under his belt for this tournament, you know, even though he's been playing some great stuff last week. It's a new event and he'll feel he'll feel happy and, and settled to get through his first one. Yeah, there's another great shot on the blue. He's gone out in style. You'd expect nothing less of him. 129. What a classy finish this has been. 136 on to win it. Ronnie O'Sullivan roars into the second round here in Glasgow.